think we need to get another side of this mountain range to actual lower spot work because we're already in the Death Valley National Park. But so, looking from here, it's like, where can the road go? Of course, once you get closer, and it's going to be uh, not as intimidating, but you're looking at it, okay, I don't have big wheels like that to get over this house. We just got passed by a car, so how bad could it be? <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, that's, yeah, I don't have to explain that, it's true. Look at that, there's nothing grows there. And it's not like bed of the lake or anything. All right, so we drove the whole day. Finally, we're at the lowest point on the nor uh, North American continent, 282 feet above the sea level. Below. Huh? Below. Uh, below the sea level, that's correct. Um, 282 feet below the sea level. And we're going to decide what to do next. Probably not going to camp here. Really pretty barren. It was interesting to pass through, but that's about it. I think we're gonna get on the road and, and move on. Oh, sounds like on the background there's, I don't know, this area is called bed water um, because it's like really salty. So I don't know, it's pretty noisy. Maybe they drank some of that water and having a withdrawal or something. <laughs> Anyway, let's just, uh, get on the road, the homage. Yeah. So we're in Arizona. Mitch is getting some chow. Been driving throughout the night. Met with Judy and her husband this morning. And rolled in this beautiful, it's called Ver Verdi Alley. I guess Verdi is uh, green in Spanish. And uh, considering everything else we've seen in, Cal uh, in uh, Arizona so far, it is pretty green. Very nice. So we got out from California yesterday and western part of California, not as pretty, but a lot friendlier. We noticed it right away as soon as we talked to a couple of people at the stores and gas stations and stuff. Went through Death Valley. That was an interesting experience. Truly a very dehydrated place. And nothing, not even a radio station out there. We were scanning through the radio, nothing. Has its unique environment, not a lot of uh, wildlife seen some mouse uh, on the way out of the valleys some rabbits crossing the road otherwise probably just snakes and lizards anyway this is Arizona all right we're going through Sedona Arizona really um, pretty town And I thought I would go a little bit over the numbers since it's uh, we covered 4,593 miles so far on the way to uh, Grand Canyons. And it's a beautiful, beautiful setting outside town. All, all this rock formations. So, 4,593 miles, um, so far, thank God, nothing has broken down, our exhaust developed a leak, we can hear it, uh, especially when it's under, under load, so there is a leak that we'll have to rectify, probably, once I get to Maryland. Got a friend of mine lives there, and we'll probably be able to take care of it there. 
So the mileage, fuel mileage for the trip is 11.9 and um, just a, a reminder for myself that's including traversing deep snow in Washington, doing some off-roading, um, going in the cities, uh, being in the uh, are really low temperatures up north so all, all things considered 11.9 so far um, well I guess that's probably one of the more interesting things even though to get a land cruiser especially loaded for the expedition like ours it's kind of silly to talk about fuel mileage. Nevertheless, well, I guess, let's see. Gasoline in California was outrageously expensive. Uh, here in Arizona, it's, uh, I think, like a, a dollar, even maybe a dollar less expensive. But so far for the trip, um we have let me see look through the numbers of course my trips are set up for european and it uh it counts in kilometers and and all that stuff i'm already ready for it but anyway uh so we we uh, traversed 4500 miles and we spent 1000 283 dollars in gas anyway beautiful town in arizona sedona um and uh continuing on so till next time seems like even in hot arizona where summers tend to get anywhere from 100 to 120 degrees up here in the mountains, you can still find some snow up, up in January. Are you a, a snow Exactly. Put this turn signal toward. He's turning around. Some people, I tell you. All right, so we are in the Grand Canyon National Park. Right here, actually, it's a BLM land, uh, so we'll be able to camp here. And uh, the Grand Canyon is straight ahead of us. Beautiful cliffs all around us. I guess we'll film some tomorrow morning. Right now, we're kind of racing the sun, so we'll have a little bit of a daylight to set up the camp. Um, even though we got the lamp, but it's easier to handle all that stuff. But still uh, with the daylight, so yeah, looking forward after a day of very long driving, beautiful drive without a doubt. But we were hoping, kind of miscalculated, we were hoping to be uh, setting up camp a little bit earlier. Did not work work out, so uh, we'll have to roll it the way it comes with it. I roll it with it. Oh, here's pedestrians. I don't have to yield. They were yielding me. And uh, so yeah, we're looking for, actually we were trying to get as close to the to the Grand Canyon as possible and then start looking for a place to park. And that was um, my shocks bottoming out. I think I maybe I need to slow down just a, a tad bit. That wasn't shocks, that was your tires rubbing against the fenders. Oh, well, actually what I meant to say was that uh, my bump stop are not long enough to stop the tires. So it stopped it in a, in a uh, wheel wells. Pop an airbag. I 
do not think so. All right, so that's it for tonight. Well, uh, it's gonna get dark, so there's not gonna be enough light to actually uh, uh, record anything in the camp, but we'll do that tomorrow.